Maybe you're an anthropology major, a CS major, classics major, history major, maybe directly an archaeology major, but maybe you just want to hear about what an archaeology internship is like. So here's my experience, at least. I'm working on a dig called Cancrii in Greece um, for a site that's, we're, we're working in a museum, kind of in a museum basement. There's maybe 20 of us. Most of them are, well, it's probably 75% students my age or older, and then like 25% experts at pottery or geology or different things like that. And we all kind of have slightly different jobs. Most of the students are doing kind of inventory stuff, like pretty easy kind of data entry and analysis and categorizing and moving things around because there's like a whole lot of different pottery fragments and whatnot. I was kind of brought on for technical expertise because I can program as a lot of you probably know. The main project I've done so far is we've got a bunch of late Roman amphoras, which are basically a kind of pot. And we have a bunch of like stoppers for them, like plugs. And these usually would hold olive oil or wine or whatever. And what the director of this project wanted to find out was is there a correlation between amphora sizes and the stopper sizes or, or more precisely like is there a standard so, like three different kinds of like small medium large stopper sizes you know that would correspond to these amphora necks like were there standardizations or was it all just kind of random so what i had to do is go through all these different drawings all these illustrations of amphoras and the the um the plugs and these illustrations are there's we have like an art art team or a, an illustration team that takes each of these artifacts that's dug up and like draws them and puts a little scale in the corner so you could have done this manually like one person even suggested holding up a ruler to the screen and like scaling the little thing in the corner to fit but that's idiotic my idea was i i took opencv2 the the python library and then I wrote a little thing that allowed me to go through all these images and click the two ends of the scale and find out how many pixels between them. And then I believe the scale was like five centimeters or something. And then I just divided it out, calculated the scale, and then I clicked two more points and then just calculated like the radius of the necks of each of the things. So I had my program go through all of them. They're about like a thousand, I think, in total. And I could have automated it more, but I thought it would be like a lot harder to do the scanning to get, or to create like a machine learning model to automate any of that. Cause like, I don't know if there's like a classifier to find the like neck of a late Roman amphora. That's like such an oddly specific thing. You'd have to like either someone would have to have done that on a data set, in which case most likely that model is like proprietary. I don't know why they'd release that unless it was just for the goodness of humanity, but come on, no one's doing that anymore. Or I guess you could use some kind of like LLM, but that's just like kind of a messy thing. An important skill in computer science is just be like, uh, g good enough. I can just like I can put myself as the human element into the loop because LLMs are good, but they're not as good as we are yet. So yeah, I just manually did that process. I went click, 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 four clicks, and then an enter per thing, a thousand items, took about an hour. So I got it all into a spreadsheet and then I plotted it on just using like some basic, um, some basic Python data visualization libraries. I think I used, uh, what's the one, matplotlib. Uh, everyone uses that and um, yeah I just got like a, a basic histogram distribution showing did like a couple statistical tests on it and, and what we found basically I haven't done the exact measurements on the um, the caps yet but the pottery necks are just like a standard normal distribution and it, it pretty much seems like there's they're just all kind of random all over the place um, yeah so that was a cool project it's very helpful to have that kind of like machine learning and whatnot background, just basic Python. It wasn't all that hard. I feel like anyone really could have done that, but it sped up the process hugely. And then another thing is with this, is it paid? No, but um, it's like a free Greek vacation and I can put archeologist on my resume. So that's pretty awesome. If you're like in anthropology and a lot of the people, a lot of the students I'm here with are in classics. That's like directly for your field. If you're in computer science, I think it's just cool to have, have things like that in your resume. 
it, it'll help you massively stand out. I talked to her career one time and she was like, yeah, whenever we see someone with ancient Greek or something on their resume, it's just, that's like a, a big standout. So it's kind of helpful in that way. There's also, they've got like a whole website and database. I don't have the keys to it yet. The, uh, the owner said it was stored in AWS and the previous developer just like is on a different time zone right now. So we don't have the SSH keys into that, but, and also just like so many interesting people show up to stuff like this. There's a, there's a guy getting a, his uh, PhD or, or something in astrophysics. So I talked to him a bit about supercomputing clusters. Yeah, there's just a lot of cool stuff going on with projects like this. It's very like non-essential kind of work, but I mean, honestly, I, I would say it's it's more important and more influential, better for humanity than someone who's doing like an internship in like HR at LinkedIn. Like you're just like pushing, that's usury basically. At least I'm like, contributing a little bit to something maybe like a a paper that like three people will read will come out with my name on it about like amphora sizes for this one specific type of pot but i feel like i would rather have that contribution than just like creating like a new acronym for um six people to memorize at your company and then forget the next year when the next interns come in and make a bunch of useless slideshows but that's just my perspective on it. And I know that's not like fully true of, of all cases, but it seems like people people rag on like the classics and, and stuff like this. It's like ultra specific and, and liberal artsy, but I mean, it's more concrete and real than a lot of stuff that goes on in washed up corporate America. So yeah, great experience overall. I'm enjoying Greece. It's pretty nice here.